so heavily anticipated that we can't cover them in just one sitting. And now we're going to get to a game we saw yesterday. We got some new stuff now on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Mark Lamia from Treyarch is back for, for day two, Lamia. And I'm excited about this because you're going to show us Strike Force, which is a new mode in Black Ops 2. Uh, we're going to have a live playthrough here of it on Xbox 360. Uh, let's get to that, but let's set it up. What is Strike Force? So, Strike Force levels, uh, this is the introduction of nonlinearity in the campaign. You're going to get these strike options for these Strike Force levels when you're taking on your campaign. You'll have a choice of these levels. Mm -hmm. These are the proxy wars that are occurring in the year 2025. You and your Black Ops team, you'll have a choice of which one of these levels you want to go on. In this case, we've chosen Singapore. We're going into Singapore with this Black Ops level. Now, the thing about Strike Force levels is they are entirely new game design. Right now, what you've seen him just do, the player just do here, is he's gone into Overwatch mode. He's looking at it from a strategic vantage point, and he's setting up his markers here. He wants his squad to go here. He's gonna. He can see uh, in red there. You can see the enemy, and you can see what's going on. He needs to secure these three positions. So he's getting a lay of the land. He's gonna set it up, and then at at will, he can move into and, and play any one of choice, these. Right? So it's like how you can play this level the way you want. To play. It's a sandbox level. You can take over the objectives in whatever way you want, um, in, in any order that you want. And you can play. You can, you can lose. And you can level, lose. Right? And you can lose. So for yeah. So obviously in a Call of Duty game, uh, you know, you need to win, right? Not anymore. In this in this case with flat with uh, strike force levels, if you lose, we'll take account of that in the story, and the story will progress. Now of course. If you want to go back and play, which I know you're a completionist and you'll probably want to go and do huh, that, all of course. Jesus. But, uh, but, but, but the story will progress forward and it'll take note of how you performed in these levels okay. and, uh, and, and, and the story pro pro will progress. So one of the things about these levels is you can, you can play any one of the people on your, on your Black Ops squad and you can take over any of the machinery and the equipment on the battlefield that you go in with. So in this case, um, what will happen is, is you'll, you'll start to bring in reinforcements. He's obviously take, trying to take this, this position here, and his team is, is, is battling. He's going into Overwatch mode here. Um, he's about to get some new units that are dropped in that he can take over and play with. Wow. Now these uh, Strike Force missions, are they optional? Do you have to play them? How does it work? Yeah, so you will have to, you will have to play, play them. However, you will have a choice about which one of these you want to play. And okay. like I said, they'll, you'll, they will progress based on whether you su succeed or fail. Some of them you may not experience, depending mm -hmm. upon how you perform. And these are certain kind of throughout the campaign, you'll have different Strike Force moments or missions that connect to the source. You got it, you got it. That's exactly it. And so, and so it's unique in both in both structure, but also in gameplay. And right here, he's taking over. Um, yeah, he's taking over one of the drones here, and he can either fire the rockets or he can fire his his his, his other uh, heavy caliber weapons. He's rolling right now. It's very. This is a very powerful weapon. Clearly, uh, he's driving, right. It's a different game mechanic altogether, so you're both driving and you're fighting here. Um, there's the other side has some of their own drones as well. That's cognitive land assault weapon. That's a you know very heavy piece of machinery. You have access to that on your side as well in this particular level. So um, it's amazing that you guys have you know all these levels that you've sort of inserted throughout the campaign. Now this one is obviously set in Singapore, um, and you're going to have them kind of all around the world. They will be in yeah. So without giving up the entire fiction, but yeah, there's going to be various areas, geographic locations in the world where these hot spots are occurring in this. Like I said, in this year 2025. Right. And and you know uh, the head of JSOC is going to come to you, and he's going to lay it all out. And he's going to say, you know, this is what's going on. This is what's going on. This is what's going on. Where do you want to go? Make a choice. You make a choice. Three, You'll make a choice. And then the fiction will progress and it'll take account of your choice. Interesting. All right, so, so they'll grant a couple times and you'll get to see. You can really play through this game multiple times. There's a lot of replayability here because of the Strike Force missions. Yeah, no, absolutely. So replayability, not only inside, not only with the levels, but inside the levels. So right now, the way he's playing this, he's now taken over a quad. He's choosing to play this level in a particular way. So he's flying through this level with the quad, which is just a lot of fun. You can see that he's so these, like this quad gameplay. Is that gameplay that we'll see in the single player campaign as well? Or are you reserving that for Strike Force? So there is quad gameplay in the in the campaign. What we've showed you is actually it being uh, used as squad backup. Right. Okay. So it, different mechanic altogether. There's a, there's a quad right there. Right now you're flying it and you're fighting it in the campaign in Los Angeles that we showed you guys yep. yesterday. Yep. Uh, those are that that's squad backup for you. So it's a different gameplay mechanic. So we're able to use the new technology uh, in, of warfare in the year 2025 in completely different ways depending upon the context here. All right, Mark, well, I think we're going to have to leave it there. That is Strike Force, though. you got so much uh, coming for Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Strike Force. We saw a campaign yesterday. 
multiplayer this summer as well, right? Absolutely, and don't forget zombies, Jeff.